Good morrow, nerds. This week on the LARP House, I have something for you that I seriously doubt I will be able to adequately explain. We were sitting around the editing bay talking about how complicated character creation can be, and it just sort of devolved into this weird conversation about how we could make the most complicated character in the least amount of time possible by whatever means necessary. And it got, it got weird. But you know, we do encourage weird here on the LARP house, so without further ado, I give you advanced character creation. Men, pick your favorite plant or herb. Women, pick your favorite metal. People in between, pick your favorite gemstone. Do you got it? Congratulations! That is your name. Okay, now for the next 10 seconds, there will be many colors flashing across the screen. So I want you to close your eyes and at any point in the next 10 seconds, press pause. Starting now. Okay, congratulations! That is the color of your skin. Okay, next, look to your left. That is your weapon. So to my left are dead flowers, so I probably am a necromancer druid. Okay, now I want you to roll a d20. Once you have done that, come back. Alright, whatever number you rolled is your primary personality trait. One is nervous. Two is vodka. Three is muscles. Four is fabulous. Five is brave idiot. Six is loves only ugly animals. Seven is bitter grandpa. I feel that's a gender neutral term. Eight is confusion. Nine is dead inside. 10 is literally haunted, 11 is lizard, 12 is murder, 13 is fancy, 14 is really, really attractive, 15 is tiny baby, 16 is rude, 17 is immortal, 18 is no soul, 19 is too heavy, and 20 is completely normal in every way. Okay, and now we are figuring out all of our characters like quirks and the backstory. So what I am doing is I have gathered a bowl of all of my favorite things and I am tossing them onto an outline of a body I have drawn. All of my favorite toys and foods. Whatever lands inside the body is what we're going to analyze. And always make sure you have a d20 rolling in there somewhere. Make sure you get all of the items. And then remove all of the excess items. Get your house elf to help you. Okay, Nutella on the hips means child-bearing hips, which means you want babies very badly. This means you are only attracted to unicorns and narwhals. Maybe horned creatures. The mermaid tails is on the arm. And so we are going to assume that whatever is wrong with your arm can be fixed with salt waters. Now I have rolled a number. And the, and the number says muscles. So, whenever salt water gets on the arm, the muscles go away. That, that is what I am interpreting here. This potato on the neck means you have been cursed by a witch. And you have a horrible rash on your neck. This means that you make your money with your mouth. Interpret that as you will. We have a princess and a, and, a, and a pauper on the eyes. That probably means that whenever you see either a princess or a dog, you must save them, even if they do not really need saving. You have two Jafars on your legs. 
which means that your legs is evil and it will act against your interests. The boogie boogie on the other leg means the same thing, it will always take you places you don't want to go. Okay, now this arm has the garlic salt on it, and since this arm had the salt water issue, I'm going to say it's the same thing on this arm, so both arm muscles disappear when you get salt waters on them. For maybe like one hour at a time. Now this is a wizard that landed on the chest, but he's all broken up, so I'm going to say that all of your magical powers only work when your heart is broken, or if you are very upset. Wonderful. Now the tongue means attraction and the dragon it means mythical creatures. So since we already said you're attracted to unicorns, I'm going to say that now you're attracted to all mythical creatures. All of the magical ones. There you go. Okay, next I want you to walk over to your bookcase. Turn around and close your eyes and pick book. Rabbits for dummies. Congratulations! This subject is the thing that your character knows the most about more than any other character in the world. This is probably their job. I am probably a rabbit farmer. Okay, next step is I want you to go to your fridge, open it up without really looking, and just pick something out of there. Pickles. Okay, whatever you pick out of there is what your father was a farmer of. Tie a knot in the cherry stem with your tongue. If you cannot do it, your parents are dead. Now pick your favorite animals. Their abilities are your magical powers. Now pick your favorite Pokemon. Is it in your head? Good, that is what your costume is based off of. Okay, now call your mother and ask her what she did today. Okay, once you have done that, congratulations! Whatever she did today is now your favorite pastime. Well, there you go. That's, that's what we did. That's how to create a character in less than 10 minutes, maybe. If you loved it, great. If you hated it, we will be back to our regular content next week. Speaking of which, if there are any tutorials or topics that you would like us to cover, please feel free to leave us suggestions in the comments or on our Facebook page. And remember, we are still taking in-character interviews for our Meet the Characters Global Edition video. All the information you need for that is pinned at the top of our Facebook page. Also, if you want advice from Thorin, the emo teenage viking princess, or Petra, the feral homeless magical death knight, please feel free to submit your questions either on Facebook or in the comments. You can click on these to learn more about the characters. You have until October the 1st, 2016. If you like what you see on our show and you want to see more, please consider making a small pledge to us on our Patreon page because we have big dreams and tiny wallets and you guys do keep the show running. You can also mosey on down to our Etsy store if you like handmade props and prosthetics. I have recently added some pretty cool new products, so feel free to check those out. If you have any questions, comments, emotional outbursts, please feel free to message us. We are on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram, although Facebook is probably the fastest way to get a hold of us. We are also going to start adding product reviews to our repertoire, so if you have any products that you'd like us to review, we have a bunch of LARPers and a lot of resources with which to do that, so... Feel free to message us. And as always, nerds, like us, subscribe to us, fight with us. Let it go, let it go. I can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> I'm dying.